Hello and welcome to Manor Lords. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to outline how tailoring works and how to generate key resources to be able to craft different clothing items. So, when you upgrade a Burgage Plot to level 2, uh, you unlock the ability to then uh, add a tailor. Uh, among other things. So where is the tailor? Right here. Tailor's workshop. And a tailor allows you to produce clothes, cloaks, and gamesons. Uh, so I do have a tailor here. So you can see this. Uh, and each of these requires different resources. So we're going to outline how to get the resources to then ultimately craft it at your tailor's shop. So clothes require linen and dyes. Gamesons require linen and cloaks require yarn and dyes. So let's go through it. How do you produce dyes? Well, you need to create a dyer's workshop. Uh, so if you go to your construction menu and you go to industry, you're gonna see dyer's workshop. Now, dyers require berries to create dyes. So you wanna make sure that you have a forager hut and a berry deposit that you can collect from. Uh, dyers will then translate or turn the berries into dyes that then can be used. Next up is yarn. To produce yarn, it's a little more complicated. First, we need to produce wool. And the best way to produce wool is create a sheep farm, uh, create a pasture, and then import sheep. And the way you import sheep, you're going to need a livestock trading post, which is the most efficient way to do this, uh, where you can then say, hey, I want to spend regional wealth to import sheep and set your limit and they will slowly import sheep, put them in your pasture. So let's walk through this. How do we do this? First, if we go over to trade, we're going to have livestock trading post uh, next to the trading post. So the livestock trading post is this structure over, nope, this structure over here I was talking about. Once you build the livestock trading post, make sure you click on trade. Uh, and you set your import sheep to a certain level, whatever that be. I recommend maybe 20. All right, after we've done that, we need to then construct under farming uh, what we call a sheep farm. So that's this structure right here. Uh, once we have our sheep farm constructed, you then need to create a pasture. Uh, the pasture here basically gives you an area to have livestock. Now, the sheep farm does have some passive pasture space here, a 0 out of 5, but I found that it wasn't as efficient. I don't know if it was a bug or whatnot, so you're definitely going to want to make sure that you create your pasture. You can see your sheep roaming around. Now, once you have your sheep in the pasture, you do need to assign a family here because they will shear the sheep to produce wool. Once wool is produced, we then need to construct a building. Yes, you can see how this gets complicated under industry called the Weaver's Workshop. Now you can see here Weaver's Workshop uh, translates wool to yarn and flax to linen. So once you have your Weaver's Workshop, again, you have to assign a person there. Uh, they are going to automatically translate wool into yarn and flax into linen. Now, how do we produce flax? Well, flax happens to be um, a uh, farming uh, item. Now, in my region, I have no flax. So you can see here, when I click on my tailor's workshop, I'm not even bothering with things that require linen because I just don't have the ability to produce flax. So that's why I'm focused on cloaks, which require yarn and dyes, which I can readily produce. Now, if you did want to produce flax and you have a good area for it, you're going to need to first construct a farmhouse. So again, the farmhouse is under farming. Uh, you click uh, construct the farmhouse. And then after you construct the farmhouse, you can then construct fields. So you kind of set your fields. Once your field is constructed, you left click on your field and you can select what to produce. So here, if I wanted to produce flax, I would select flax. We would have to grow it, harvest it, and then it will be transported over to your storehouse or the weaver who then turns it into linen. So if you then produce linen, uh, you can then go to general here and produce things that require linen. So that is how tailoring works in Manor Lords. I know this was a quick hit. Please drop uh, any questions to the comments. Happy to answer them. I'm really enjoying this game. 
and hope to see you in future videos. Thanks for watching. Shadow Coast out.